Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Tia and I am so freaking excited that you're here. I'm one half of Cameron and Tia. That's with my husband and we are wedding photographers in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we are chatting about all things HoneyBook. Now, whether you're a HoneyBook user and not currently using the scheduling feature, or you don't use HoneyBook, you use another platform, or you don't have a client management system, this video is for you. Today I am talking about the scheduling feature on HoneyBook. It is a game changer. We use the scheduling feature for so many different things. Consult calls, Zoom calls, mentor sessions, all of the things can be done right inside HoneyBook, which is our client management system. Now, it is a game changer because there is no longer the back and forth of, hey, I'm available on Tuesday and Wednesday. When are you available? Oh, I'm only available on Thursday. Okay, well, what about 9 a.m.? No, I'm only available Thursday at 2 p.m. Well, that doesn't really work for me. I wouldn't be able to transport there. Could I actually do 3 p.m.? Done. Instead, for example, with client calls, our couples reach out to us, we send them a link, they look at our calendar, they see all of the availability, and they choose what works best for them. There is nothing that I hate more than having to call, for example, my hair salon, but not my hair salon because I go to places that have scheduling systems, and then they only offer up certain appointment times, but they don't quite work for me, and I'm like, I just wish that I could see everything possible and make the choice that would make the most sense for me, where I'll be in that area, or when it would make sense for me to have appointments back to back, or when I could get groceries afterwards. Scheduling tools are a game changer, and I'm gonna show you how we use them in HoneyBook. So I'm gonna take you inside my computer, literally show you how it all looks, how we have it set up, and why it's a game changer. Let's do this thing. Okay, here is how we use the scheduling feature. So you go to Tools, and then you can go to Scheduler, and inside the scheduler, you are able to make all kinds of different types of sessions, which is awesome because you can then personalize those for what you want to be able to schedule, what you want to allow different types of clients, different places within their client workflow. So for example, I'm going to show you all the sessions that we have. Starting from the bottom, we have a mentor mini session. This is a limited time offer that we run literally like once a year and they're just 20 minute mentor sessions. It's really fun to try to get them back to back so that we can meet with tons of our students on one day or two days. Um, so that's that. It is inactive. So you can see that you can swipe them to be over active or inactive. Senior spokesmodel intro modeling call. So same thing. We had a senior spokesmodel program and their first session was their intro modeling shoot. I think I just said call, but I mean shoot. Um, and so they could schedule that right there. We could open up dates for them really easy for them to book beta tester coaching call and the complimentary 15 minute mentor session um, these are both related to our courses so beta testers we give them um, in exchange for them giving us tons of feedback taking our course everything amazing we give them a free 30 minute men mentor session so that's really awesome and then this complimentary 15 minute mentor session is for all those that apply to be a beta tester and don't get selected so typically we'll have 30 to 40 applicants and then we'll select six to eight beta testers when we're rolling out a new product or a new course and so unfortunately a ton of students even some of our past students don't aren't able to be selected because we'll be at capacity or they might not be the right fit, but we want to thank them for applying. And so we have this complimentary 15 minute session. And then you can see a whole mixture of things that are active. Um, these are Facebook community lives. When we have guests come in the Facebook community and speak to our students, we have zoom consult calls, in-person consult calls for wedding clients. We have engagement sessions where our wedding clients can book their engagement session, in-person mentor sessions, in-person mentor sessions. One of these are, um, 30 minutes, one of them is an hour. And then same with Zoom, we have 30 minutes and we have an hour so that people can just book those right away. So in case you want to learn more about that, you can head to this web page. We'll put the link down below. And there you can see that you can book an in-person session here and you are able to just book right on the calendar. So this is the user experience for the client, whether it's our wedding clients or whether it's our students. You're able to go through and just select times and then you can see that you can find all of the next availability. So here's some more dates that are available where we're taking mentor sessions. And then if you're like, hey, no, actually I want a 30 minute session, boom, it flips to the other canvas if you're a show it user. And then it shows you all of those options. I can also X out here and I can book a Zoom session. So we like to make it really easy. We know that all of our photography students are so busy and they're managing crazy calendars and so we want them to be able to see all of the available dates really far out if they wanted um, you can see that this can go all the way May 4th we have availability and then they're able to make it work with their schedule so again if you're interested in booking a mentor session with us I'll have the link down below during these sessions we can go through whatever your heart desires
So back to the scheduler. I'm going to walk you through creating a new schedule. So you go to this and you can select the session type. The great thing about this is if it's a video call, you can link with your Zoom account and it'll automatically create a new Zoom link for that. Like what? That's insane. You title the session, choose the time zone, which is amazing because it will personalize it for whoever is looking at it for their time zone. And then you can select the duration and then you can select when this session can be scheduled. So it's indefinitely a rolling window or a fixed date range. The nice thing about a fixed date range is that you can just say, okay, these sessions only last until April. Maybe I can only take engagement sessions in the summer wherever I'm located. And so I can have that. The other thing that we typically use like for our mentor sessions, for our engagement session is a rolling window where I can then say, okay, well, you can only book mentor sessions for the next two months because I don't know, after those two months, my schedule might be changing. Or for engagement sessions, we typically go about six months out. Then you can choose the session color. This isn't super important, but um, just kind of nice to categorize. Any instructions so that when people are invited to this, for example, a lot of people will have um, calendars for scheduling for podcasts or calendars for scheduling for coffee dates. You can put all of the details here so that they can see it. And then HoneyBook allows you to send reminders automatically. You do not worry about this. You don't worry about reminding your clients, hey, we have a consult in two hours or hey, I'll see you today for the consult. You are able to select when you want it to send to them and then it's nice because you're just totally hands off. Next up, you schedule the availability. So first thing is you kind of set these boundaries. So like let's say, hey, I can have a coffee date anytime, nine to five, Monday through Friday. HoneyBook is then going to look at your HoneyBook calendar and it's not going to offer up times in which you are already busy. So I'm going to go back to that in a little bit. I'm going to show you that at the end. You can also select buffers. So for example, like if we're doing back-to-back -back mentor sessions, we like to give ourselves 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes in between sessions so that we can regroup, we can check out everyone's questionnaire, make sure that we're really prepared to go into the next one to give it our all. Um, we also use minimum notice. So we schedule in-person consults with our wedding clients. So they're coming to our home and we do a minimum notice of two days. We don't want to have to scramble to get together things, to get our house clean. Um, we also provide charcuterie, snacks and um, drinks. We'll often make like custom cocktails for our clients when they're coming over to our house. And so we don't want to scramble. So there's a minimum notice of two days for us. The last thing that you can do is select the increments of time in which your availability will appear. So for example, if you're wanting to look um, maybe more booked up than you actually are, this could be a really nice way to say, okay, well, the maximum is 45 minutes. I don't want them to see my entire day from 9 to 5 p.m. and to think, oh my gosh, well, there's so many options. They're clearly not in demand. So that's one way that you could use custom increments. We don't use that. Next is the confirmation page. So the nice thing is that you can put this in here and this is the sample confirmation page, obviously. And you can see that it already has like all of this content that you can't edit. And that's okay because we want it to take all this data and give it to whoever is booking the session. So like for an engagement session, give it to our clients that says engagement session, it says the date, the time, the location, everything like that. And then you have all of these additional options options about sending a confirmation email. Yes, we always do that. Allow rescheduling, allow cancellations, and it can be all done right here. So that's why this is a game changer. Now let me show you the calendar. Okay, so here's our calendar on HoneyBook. Now you're getting an inside peek at what our schedule generally looks like, but you can see all of these different things like where we're traveling to North Carolina. This is blocking this out of all of our availability. So let's say, for example, on Tuesdays, we can take mentor sessions in the morning. This blocks it out so that it doesn't show our availability this Tuesday, even though that's something that we entered in the calendar that we're always available on Tuesdays. The nice thing with HoneyBook calendars is that they can sync with all kinds of different calendars. So for example, we sync this with a program called Fantastical, which we love to use as just like our general family calendar. And so it brings things in like Kickball, which is all of these personal conflicts. Fantastical is just a sleek, awesome calendar and we love to use it. I'm going to link that down below in case you're interested. So now I'm just going to show you what we do with our scheduling links. So while they do create a page for you in HoneyBook, we love to have it be branded and really accessible for our mentor sessions or for our clients. So for example, we have this engagement session scheduling page and then you can scroll down and we embedded this into here and to show it. And so it has like embed code and you're able to put that embed code right here. And then our clients are able to come to this page, see all of our availability coming up and find what works best for their engagement session. Then they're able to just book right here, boom, bang, super easy for them, and it doesn't have tons of barriers to entry.
Okay, and that is why scheduling sessions through HoneyBook is a game changer. There's no more back and forth between you and your client. They are able to see all of your availability and get it booked right then and there. Woo, that's awesome. Oh, you guys, wow. Is that not unreal? Now, if you want to try HoneyBook for yourself, I have a code for you where you can get 50% off your first year. Yeah, literally it is half off. So use the code that's in the description. I'm gonna also pop it up above here. It's just Cameron and Tia, and we would love for you to use HoneyBook. If you have any questions, we have some more tutorials, but otherwise, just send us an email. We have our email down below there, and we would love to chat with you to see if HoneyBook will be the perfect fit for you. And until next time, bye!